the Empire, everybody. This is Rampain, and welcome back to my Daedric Invasion campaign. We're going to continue where we left off from last time. So, after uh, looking over the comments for the second video, it sounds like everybody wants me to, like, just fuck over Daggerfall and Hammerfell region. So, what I'm going to do, uh, first things first, let's go find my agents. So, yes. Ernest the Clever, I'm going to start bringing you back, actually, kind of have you go up and around into the High Rock region. And I'm going to be bringing you this way, and I'm going to also be bringing my assassin over this way. I'm going to start trying to do as much damage as I can over there to try and weaken High Rock. I'm going to try and keep them vulnerable as much as I can. I'm going to have you kind of make your way over this way. You're going to take a really long time to get there. I don't technically think I should allow myself to teleport him over there instantly. I think he still has to walk, even though he is a straight-up Daedra. So he'll be walking over here. It's going to take him a while, very long time, to get over here. But once he does, I'll start trying to destroy buildings that are giving public order and try and cause a bunch of rebellions and wars over here to kind of make sure that Daggerfall stays weak. I don't think I'll be able to try and conquer regions over here that easily, seeing as how I think, if I remember correctly, High Rock has always had like high population in their rebel settlements. They've always been pretty strong. So... In the time it would take me to move uh, Rainu up there How and nice. get some men, I think they might have already taken them. Uh, Daggerfall or the other factions that are over there. So I'm not going to try and do that. You guys here, um, let me get at least to you. Orders, my king. My so there's at least seven of you. Yes. I think I think we can try and go after Rehot at that point. And we should be able to take it. I'm going to be risking being so close to the Empire, but I think we're going to have to. I think. Also, I'm hoping Core Guard at some point soon. I'm hoping you guys, I can make it so you're not my capital, because I think I'll have to move my capital to Rehod, so you guys are okay. Uh, I still don't know how the AI is doing around these areas. I'm still hoping Hammerfell isn't trying to take this city. I really need this city. Tanith would be really nice, but there's no way in hell I can try and take some sort of fortification like that just yet. So I'll have to avoid it for now. You guys, because you had 10 units. How many do we have ready here? Your will got shall eight. be obeyed. I want to get a few more before we try and push into it and claim it for ourselves. Because I'm kind of curious if I might be able to find some Orders decent artifacts in that uh, fort. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. Let's see. How is everybody doing? Um, Sire. you. Who is my God you guys are just all still spreading the God good word, and I'll just have to see God how things are going for you later on. We've at least now got a foothold in Somerset, so hopefully I, I can try and take uh, Landrill, and also there was um, Ready to trade. Cloud Rest up here I still need to take. Is that... I think that's Rebel still? I'm not sure. Ah, one other thing I forgot uh, to bring up initially. Um, I am going to be going along with the uh, vampire idea, the vampire general, that's going to kind of be a uh, presence of Molhigbo. <laughs> God damn it, Brain. I hate how last week I uh, accidentally said the wrong fucking name. I said Bolegmol, not Molhigbo. <laughs> ah, that's great. So, <laughs> that was fun. But I will still be trying to have him running around causing chaos. Black Star wants me to put it down in the Khajiit lands and elsewhere so that we can make the Khajiit all immortal vampires. Um, otherwise, I was more than likely initially going to put it into the High Rock region. I think it makes more sense with them and with around Hammerfell because I pretty, if I remember correctly, in the lore, they actually have a lot of issues with vampires in these regions. So I think those would make the most sense. God How are you guys doing on conversion 10? How may I say? I just want to keep track of these. I'm really hoping that they don't take that. When I was, oh, son of a bitch, it's under siege. Because I know when I was doing my testing, I, they took that pretty early on, and I'm hoping they don't. I might have to just try and cause some rebellions and chaos over there with my agents when I can build it up. But that's going to be a little while until we can do that. Because I've now got this guy. So I'm going to start moving you my lord. down a decent way. Man, my All you guys keep grouping together. So you're there. Of course, yes. You guys get here at least. And then I'll have you be my teleported lord, yes. over and start uh, at least sieging it. Of course. Then once this guy gets Make there, you guys can then uh, assault it. Go, but for oh, now, in two turns, you'll start sieging. And then here, I can't recruit anything more, but I can get a few more of you guys. 
Because I want to at least have maybe two more units. I can wait for... I think I'll wait for these guys. I'll wait for these guys, and then you can go and try and claim this uh, fortification. Uh, God damn it again. Nchadzums? 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 Something like that. Because then I'll have you start making your way up and around. Because I just want to try and claim as many of these forts around here as possible, so we can have just a couple armies, like, lying in wait and just waiting for the chance to reinforce and help out their brothers around Eldrune when we eventually have that invasion start. And then, oh my god, how long is it going to take you to get over there? Because I'm going to keep walking this guy slowly out. myself over there so that he on can keep stabbing way. things on his way. Like, here's Gideon. This is just some rebels. So just sabotage. Sure, the town hall. Town hall is something that will make us a little bit more unhappy. God damn it. Do that again. Okay, so you're doing that, and then Who my, my spy. Yes. Let's have you go around this way. Because I'll try and have you go up and around. Because I think there's some rebel settlements around here. They actually usually start with quite a few. They now have a new faction up here, and actually over here. So I'm curious how those guys are gonna do. Wayrest usually always fails in this mod. Uh, I don't know how they do in the um, unofficial patch. I'm kind of hoping they'll do better. That's my hope. Oh, I forgot to move my merchant. I was going to have him go towards Cloud Rest so he can try and see what's going on there at least. Because I'm... the. It seems like the elves don't really expand all that quickly with their rebels for some reason. It's uh, I know Hammerfell always does. And then also Daggerfall does. Those guys always expand rather quickly. The Empire kind of seems to stay stagnant for a little while. So I'm hoping they're not going to do anything. I still need to get a diplomat around here because I'm still going to try and bribe people around me because I don't have, like, I have a lot of money. I don't need to use all of it. I can just start throwing it around like, hey, here's a gift, here's a gift, here's a gift. It's not alliances, so I don't have to worry about Damien and Charles' threats. <laughs> but uh, it's a way for me to try and manipulate my uh, the factions around me to be like, oh, hey, you don't need to fight me. No, you don't need to fight me. No, 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 don't, don't worry. Who the hell is Idan Ruse? What the fuck is that? Is that their captain in there? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I'm turn report. Still making a little bit of money per turn, which is great. Because we're just building a stockpile right now. We make roughly about 5,000 per turn. We don't do much with it. Besides slowly send forces out. Because like you're making your way there. So you'll be there in two additional turns. I'll be able to season for a little bit before we properly assault the city. Although I'll probably have to seize them for a little bit longer just to get better, or just to get the equipment set up. So let's see, you guys, try and get the better farm, I guess. Try and get that, it helps out a little bit with money. Uh, corruption's trying to be a bit of an issue here, but it's a castle, so corruption's not usually too much bad. Yes. You guys keep doing that, and then it's another two turns until this is done. And I need you guys to grow as quickly as possible. It's going at 4.5%, which is pretty good right now. But I'll probably have you guys initially... Is my archer unit... Yeah, it's tied to this. Okay, so once I finish this, I'm going to get the town watch so I can start recruiting archers. And I already can recruit the infantry. So I can start recruiting those guys around here. After that, we're going to start getting the town hall. And mines are pretty bad. Um, market, maybe. But the ways to just grow the cities faster. You need to actually Ready to trade. Continuing oh. on. Ready to trade. Please ignore Cloud Rest. I want Cloud Rest. Ready to trade. Continuing on. Make like nothing. Trading skill. Points. Good money. Alchemy. Able to craft basic alchemy potions. Wait, what? Is there like crafting in this too? You guys have a lot of stuff in yes, the unofficial then. With a ruling body of the Please don't. Please don't take Cloud Rest. We intend to prove the superior I need to build up around here, and I need Cloud Rest as a city, because that's a stone walled settlement. This one's pretty small. They all start off really small, and I need larger cities, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get agents quickly enough. Please don't. Please don't, guys. Because I think we'll be able to get a decent foothold around Hammerfell. Primarily around Hammerfell, I think, because I can probably take several settlements around here before the invasion kicks off. 
basically, I'm going to be focusing a lot of my atten initial attention on the invasion, probably around Hammerfell and Daggerfall. Usually they're fairly weak, and if I try and weaken them before the invasion starts, that might be a better chance for us. I'm going to kind of ignore uh, around, like, primarily then, like, Black Marsh, Valenwood, and all those areas. I'm kind of thinking that, like, when the time comes, when the invasion comes, all cities that they initially start sieging, I'll assault, destroy, and just leave. And then we'll try and collect all my forces in one spot, and then start trying to push hard in one location. And I'm going to hope that's going to be Daggerfall, ideally. Okay. So now, Combining Captain Velak, it's time to send you to Tamriel. Ah, it's good you heard the uh, the call of uh, Rainu. I need you to, we need you to liberate Rihad, or convince them of the benefits of working with our, with our patrons, I guess you could call them. So, I'm going to have you start sieging that. It's going to take us at least... To I want to get both these rams, so I'm going to sit here for the four turns. The siege, simply lord. just because... Oh man, it sucks having... If taking so here, long to build gone, these lord. 150 points. I can't get those, but... Pride, I need just multiple uh, areas I can enter in with the ongoing, troops lord. I've got. So, that'll give me some time to kind of gather some more forces together around here. Ah, you guys are ready too. Ooh, so two forces get to be sent away from Oblivion in the same turn. And welcome to the lands of Vardenfell, Kathunat. I'm gonna have you begin surrounding this uh, this fortification and dungeon. I, I know these dungeons are all using maps from other mods, and I don't mind too much. It it's a way to try and have it so that you can have more unique. Um, well, interesting I, things you can do in this mod. I actually, I like how ambitious, uh, ambitious this uh, unofficial patch has been over what the normal mod is. That's what all these sub-mods are. It's like, oh, one person latches onto a mod, really likes it, and it's like, oh, but I wish there were some things that were a little bit better. So they try and expand it and improve it themselves. And that's how we just keep getting better and better mods within this community. And I don't think it's a bad thing that these mods are trying to be ambitious Maybe it, it, it does suck when it's not always a custom settlement. Uh, that That is true, it ta but it takes a lot of time to make a custom settlement. And it at least allows a proof of concept to be like, hey, this can work, this is kind of cool, that we can add in like these dungeons and whatnot. I know for myself, I find it really interesting having the vampire uh, stuff. Technically, it sounds like there's actually more detriments than benefits from being a vampire. It's kind of Elder Scrolls in general, but actually that works perfectly for me where I want to just fuck over other factions by um, infecting them with vampirism. So I think that will work out perfectly for us uh, trying to do that. So let's see, you guys here, you need at least, you have a ram. Technically the, the one ram should be fine for you guys. I can't tell what they've got around here. Okay, and our thing is done around here. Ready to trade. It's under siege. Please fail. Continuing on. I'm gonna yes, kind of stand right next to it. Please fail. The Dominion is here. We've got a good force. They've got a good force. Ooh, they do have mages in here. Come on, I'm rooting for you. Guy the men in Cloudrest, hold them back. Do not let him win that day. Because if he fails there, I might actually try and go for Cloudrest quickly. Actually that reminds me, how'd you guys do over here? Mm. Damn it, they control it now. Okay, well, I think I can still take Rehad and Fort Roseguard around How here, I believe. I, I'm, get, I'm hating this limitation of putting on myself. It's so, it takes so long to recruit. But it's interesting. I, I like being able to have these limitations. Otherwise, it wouldn't be as interesting. So you guys finally finished the Temple to the Daedric Gods around here. So first and foremost, I need you to get the Town Watch. After that, we'll start getting the town hall and probably the mines, honestly. They'll be a good way to jump our economy a little bit here. Otherwise, spies and assassins are not tied to the inns, correct? No, they are not. They might contribute to the point system that Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild use. They might do that, but it's still gonna be a while until we actually grow the city a little bit more. But all for now, again, Town Watch, Town Hall, Mines, 
just so I can start recruiting more guys around here. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you don't take that. Hopefully you don't. But for now, I think it's time for us to assault this. I think the one ram should be enough. There's only gonna be one entrance, so I don't think they'll just. No, we'll we'll be we'll play it safe. We'll at least have a second ram before we assault it, just in case. Because I can't remember if they have the capabilities of destroying my equipment there. Let's have you start moving around here though, and start trying. You can't go that way. I am actually gonna bring you back over this way to try and cause revolts around here. I'm going to try and. Just increase the Daedric presence in the uh, Imperial lands. They're not going to like that at all. I'm still kind of curious. What do you guys think about... Because I'm not going to be able to have any cities around here. Should I allow myself to send agents to these uh, fortifications that we have? These forts? Because if I got a spy and or an assassin up here, I could do some damage and try and maybe have these lands rebel against the Empire. Because I've got at least my one priest over nice. here, if I can start converting them to higher Daedric cults, they're not going to like that, and some targeted sabotage into a town hall or anything like that could really push them over to the edge, possibly, to rebel. Uh, I don't know if they'd rebel to me, but they could rebel. Because I don't know if I'm on the list of stuff that would they'd rebel to. I'm not sure about that. And let's see, you guys, who have I not talked to? Because... You're still making your way up towards High Rock. You're still moving around that way. And then my assassin. You're still slowly making your way towards Leowen. Nothing of interest really going on around here at all. So you can keep doing that. Please. Come on, guys. Win that battle! Oh, I forgot about those reinforcements. I'll have to send those in a second. Um, or I'll, I'll wait until they get with the other guys, because I'm still waiting on the siege equipment to finish up so that you guys can all assault them. I'll have to make sure that I send you guys over soon. Or actually, I can wait. I can maybe wait. Or I can send you at least, that other guy that's waiting back there. He might go towards Korgard if they fail around Cloud Rest. I don't know if they're going to fail around Cloud Rest, though. That was a full stack army. The AI is sometimes stupid. <laughs> sometimes they are really bad. And uh, they might fail in that assault. No, it looks like they won. I think I see some yellow over there. I think they took Cloud Rest. Shit. That's not good for us. That is not good at all for us. Did you? Damn it, they didn't take any damage. You guys took like no damage. Bullshit. That is such bullshit. Okay. Can you seriously make like nothing here? Nine per turn. You are so bad at your job. Okay, well now you're going to be under a threat. That's going to suck. Okay, well we're going to have to try and reinforce this area. And I'm really hoping you guys won't take this one at least. That's got eight guys in there. I can start gathering some men together. Because you're sieging this here. My lord. You got six men right now. I can start gathering these guys together, I think, for another uh, yes. another Order's assault. My king. If you guys keep going around yes. here, I've got at least the two. Oh, four. Order's okay, I've got four of you guys now. Move out. I might send you guys move back out. down there. Just to make sure that we can kind of secure Somerset a little bit better. Might send you guys over there. Because if I can get two cities over here, we're actually in a pretty good spot then with Somerset. We'll have two settlements that are kind of working in tandem with each other. Um, I can try and take these. I think there's rebel settlements on these. I know there's one in Stros Makai. I think there's one up here. So if I at least have two down here, I could go up here, claim these islands. And then I think this is rebel still. I don't have map information, so I cannot tell. This is still rebel. It is not sieged. Good. How may I You're say? still slowly converting those guys. Spy, how are you yes. doing? Moving quietly. Very good You're doing Lord. fine. Okay. I don't Moving see anything crazy position. going on around here. Moving the Reachmen still quiet. have a decent hold Same. over here, it seems. Nobody has taken control over all of Skyrim just yet. Someone's probably bound to soon. Yeah, let's Who see. Is, is there anybody target? to stab and lay in? On my way. Ooh, we could try and take Mary of Sky. The target, please. That's all I need. Yes. 
approaches. Damn. I was hoping you might succeed there. Nope. Let's see, what's the fastest way for you to get over? So technically On that's going to be way. going through... Today's yeah, slightly passing through over. elsewhere. Okay, go that way. Need to get you over to High Rock. It's going to take a while to get over there. I almost wonder if I should have actually sent him over there initially. Okay, over here though. We've got the other ram. Let us get into this. Let us liberate and find a new... Oh, you're not going to die this time. Now we have city... Oh, fuck you, Sunday Sleepers. Mm. You have a Sunday Sleepers and Ash spawn. Well, at least now my units won't die, because we actually have a city out here. So maybe that's why you guys won't act dying. God, I always forget how badass of a unit model they have in here. I've always still loved the Daedric armor that they have in Skyrim. Way more than what we had in Oblivion. I never really liked the Oblivion armor that we had. Oblivion's armor was meh. I think Oblivion's armor I didn't like all that much. I did really like, um, it was Morrowind's. Morrowind's plate, because that's these guys. These guys, I actually do like their plate look, but I still think for myself, Skyrim's I like the most. I know I've seen ESO's a little bit, and it looks weird. But, like, you guys actually don't look too bad, especially for the graphics of the time when it was made. I think these guys look pretty damn badass. But we have to get rid of these Ash Spawn from our new base of operations, and so we just need to try and push in there. I hate that they have fucking Ascended Sleepers. Those are gonna suck to kill. I almost wonder if I need to play Dagoth or again at some point, because I know they've gotten like new updates in just the normal mod for, uh, as well. I don't know what they've done in the unofficial patch for Dagoth or, because I, I, I loved playing as Dagoth or when I played him. I, I would find that kind of fun to go back to him, especially now that they can get the uh, Numidium or whatever it was, the giant mech dude. Uh, that'd be kind of fun. I could see a, a Conquer the World campaign working with uh, Dagathor. That'd be kind of fun. Almost have it. I, I'd almost want to try and do something similar to what I'm doing this one, um, but instead I'd make it so I set up a, a couple scripts that if I conquered the uh, Great Houses, I get one of their special units or something like that. That'd be kind of a fun thing to play around with with Dagathur. Um, like he's turning them into dreamers, like the, one of their best units into dreamers. Only one of their really good ones, not their generic infantry, because the whole idea behind Dagathur is he's supposed to have all like the zombies and the powerful mages. But it would be kind of nice to have some variety and be like, oh, no, we actually have access to some of these, uh, like, they have, like, no archers. So it'd be kind of nice, like, oh, here, here's this. I think Indril has some nice archers. So be like, oh, here, have these Indril archers. I really hope you guys don't try and push through the gate again, like last time I tried to assault one like this. They have so many mages that I'm worried they're going to just... Are you doing this again? You got your dreamers right there. Please let me actually break down the gates, because I need to rush in here. Otherwise, you guys can do a lot of damage with your skirmishers. Where are they? Okay, the ash spawn and ash slaves are in the back right now. Thankfully. Nope, they're going to try and push through me with their dreamers again. I'm not going to go after them. I'm going to drop the ram. And I'm going to wait here for a second. I'm not going to advance in, or if, I'm, if anything, I advance in with one guy. Like right over here. I'm just going to run in and ignore the dreamers. I'll see if that can work, because otherwise they could do a lot of damage to my entire army. So just try and run in off to the side. Try with just one unit for now. We'll try and push in just with you, because I can't let them just AOE down my entire army. It's too easy in a building, in a city like this. There's one entrance. And if they just set up, oh, they're already moving their shit. Ah, oh, they've already almost destroyed this entire unit. But, I've lured them out. We've taken the gates, technically, too. So once we push through this, I can try and make my way inside. Hey, you guys are broke. I'm going to have this one unit rush at the Ash Spawn as quickly as possible. The Ascendant Sleepers aren't doing anything. I go to the Ash Slaves, actually. Get them to stop firing. I'll send another unit in here. Come on, focus the Ash Slaves. Get them to stop firing. 
We're gonna send one unit at a time, otherwise they're just gonna AoE me down. So I'll try and have one go to the side. There you go. Come on. Go, go, go. Up the side. Go. God, these guys do a lot of damage. Uh, come on. I need to get them to stop firing. Shit. You guys actually have a morale. Ah, oh, shit. Send one more in. 1320. This is brutal. Honestly. I don't like the idea, but I might have to send my jungle in. I might have to send him in to try and push them back. Because you've got a good amount of hit points. You might be able to tank some shots. I don't know how much ammo they've got. But if they stopped... Ashley, where did the Ash spawn go? I think they stopped. I can't find them. Uh... Or are they just in this blob? Oh, okay. I think my men can start making their way in. So you guys push in through the main front. You guys try and go off to the side here. You guys try and go off to the side here. And then my general, I'll have you kind of sit over here. I don't know where they went. Somebody shot me. Someone shot my general. No. So where'd their other range unit go? He just disappeared. I know it only has like 20 units in that one. Our men have fought long and are but I don't know tired. where he went, because I don't see him over here. Oh, wait. Ah, you're hiding. You little shit. Okay, General, let's have you run out. They're right here. I see you. You kind of blend in. Kill the Ash Spawn. Murder them. Oh. Meant to have to be an epic slow down moment. But no. There we go. Now they're not shooting us. I can properly flood in and not worry about taking obscene amount of casualties. So you guys start trying to surround them. Try and rush in here. Because right now we've got the advantage. Now that they can't just funnel us all into this one tiny tube and kill us all. As even my Daedra units, god, they can even get their asses kicked by those mages. But, thankfully my general now, you can start pushing into these units. Uh, we've got one guy here, one here, one here. Try and help out against the Ash zombies, because now it's going to be the giant slog to kill everybody. I'll have to try and save the Imperfects for last, because they are a tough unit. So I'll start moving everybody else into position that we can start just flanking people. Why did you shoot me? You guys go up here. You kind of go this way. You kind of go this way. You guys are still fighting over here. I think the Ascendant Sleepers are still fighting. Yep. The Ascendant Sleepers are pretty tough. So I'm not surprised that they're still lasting. Kind of flank around there. You guys kind of get around right here. Number-wise, 26 to 38. And you guys feel short work at the Corpus Lane. And you guys can deal with heavy swords then. Because they primarily, the only advantage they've got is their skirmishers. Their skirmishers are the main thing they've got on me. Everything after that, my units are better. Don't like the Imperfects. So let's bring uh, you two over here and try and help with the Imperfects. I was kind of hoping I could wait until after the battle was done, basically. To then have you guys try and fight this unit. But uh, they don't want to do that. So we're going to have to try and push you back right now. So I'll bring my halberds over. Because you guys have armor piercing, correct? Uh, effective against armor. And these guys... Quite a bit of armor! So I'll have you try and flank this unit. Only half the enemy force 55 remains. to 35. Okay, now help out against the Imperfects. You guys should really do some damage against them. Are my, is my general bodyguard a uh, effective against armor? Yes, it is. It's basically just you aren't. Everybody else is actually effective against armor. Okay, 4062. God, it lose so much to take these. I can only imagine other factions trying to take these and how they would fare against them. 
Like, I'd imagine it's going to be a pain in the ass for them as well. That's a unit routing. You guys are almost done over here. These guys are almost dead. It's almost just the Imperfects left. Three of them left. 28. You guys got about 60. You guys have about 60 as well. These guys are almost dead. They've only got about 20 total. Yeah, you guys are almost done. I'll probably have it so that one of you is going to help out over here, finish these guys off. Oh, they do still have some skirmishers. I'll have to focus those guys down first. Okay, my swordsmen are finally done. I'm going to take one of you, bring you over this way. The other two, since you guys are also still effective against armor, go help out against the Imperfects. There's 21 of them left. They are doing a number on my dudes. Our men no longer command. Lord, be yeah. merciful. We oh. have lost half of our men. By the grace of God, our men have slain the enemy okay. general. Okay, three times in a row, I was like, wait, is my general dead? Is my general dead? Is my general dead? I was just waiting to see. Okay, which voice line are you giving me right now, man? Is he dead or not? At least we now have the city center under our control. It's not going to matter too much. We'll kill everybody before then. Because the Imperfects, they've got three left. Yeah, they're almost dead. We still take a beating in here. Like, you guys got your asses kicked. These Dramora Kaitiffs, just the single one-handed swordsmen, don't do that well. All Seems like my heavy swordsmen do really well, actually. Victory we have won here today. It's kind of all over the place. I guess it depends. My general's bodyguard still did quite a bit. He did 51, 151 kills. But it's no, there's no clear indication like which one's better. Technically, my halberds took the most damage and dealt a decent amount of damage. My sword, heavy swordsmen took dealt, dealt a decent amount of damage and took little of their own. The kaitis also, even if they did a decent amount of damage, they took quite a few casualties. So it seems like my heavy swordsmen are actually like some of my best units. Although, you guys did heal like 108. Jesus. That would probably was primarily from the uh, mages. So, that's not going to be a great way to like, showcase like which units are better to use. But there we go. I actually now I'm curious, what artifacts did we get from claiming this dungeon? Because slowly but surely, we're just going to build ourselves up around here. And just we're waiting. Just waiting for the Daedric invasion to spawn. And then we'll be able to jump out. Like, hey, you got reinforcements. You got men already here. Already wait. I'm still hoping I might be able to get a settlement to rebel over here. Like the one that could be Empire Controls. That might be possible for us to do. Let's merge those guys together. Also, I need to remember, I can actually get mercenaries around here, I believe. Yeah! Uh, freelance Ash Raiders. Uh, I hate Guar Cavalry, but technically I could do that. Well, let's see, you, I think you already had Barbus before you came here, and you already had the Marksman. Um, holy shit. Did you just get all this new? Because I don't think you had this stuff before. I think you just got all of this. Actually, give me a second. Okay, so I double-checked. Uh, before we assaulted this, he had everything up to the fine armor. So, wow, you have, how many health points do you have? You have one initially... Four from that, and then five from being a Daedra. Oh god, you have a ton of health. Ten hit points on your bodyguard? Holy shit. Unless you get anything else. Do you get any other? But no, it was up to the fine armor is what he had beforehand. So now, let's see, so this is a large surprise the light hammer. It was forged by a master smith, um, Hilbengard. Oramus, and enchanted by the wizard Dora Gusal. Uh, this hammer can deal a lot of damage in a short amount of time, so it increases his speed and increases chivalry on the battlefield. Not the best, I guess, for a uh, Daedra. Uh, Fist of uh, Radigolf. Uh, Radigolf of Clan Begalan was a mighty Nord warrior. He met his end when King Harald conquered Skyrim. Uh, the king told his men not to bury Radigolf with his gauntlet as an act of respect. The gauntlets increase the wearer's physical strength. So, more chivalry on the battlefield and three to walking distance. 
Okay. Um, all that is known about this ring is to provide protection against some elemental forces. It is known. It is also unknown who um, Denticusma was. Okay. And then a Daedric Shield. So two more to hit points. This dude has 12 hit points. Holy shit. That is a ridiculous amount of hit points on the general himself. Like, that is crazy, it feels like. Because I don't think he gets anything else that improves his... No, just that. Nice. He's becoming a badass. I really like that. Let's we'll just try and find more... As you wish. Oh, there's Saron. On my way. I think we need to try and find at least one more of these. I like that. I like that you can get these items like this. I can really deck out my dudes with some pretty badass gear. Oh, that's nice. How may I say? No, because I think... I hate that my heralds are the ones that have to walk around here. So, like, they just don't do much around here. Because they just... Well, they just don't have much view. Viewing range. Their uh, view distance is really short. Let's see. Agents... Anybody else? Because you're still moving. You've already been moved. You've already been moved. Spreading the good word. Oh, actually, that's where we should go next. After we take Rehod, crop server. Crop server next. Have you guys been attacked? You guys might have been attacked. How much have you been able to convert these guys? 18% so far. Uh, they've got, what was it, five units in there? Six units. Okay. Six units. Already got one here. Orders, my king. Forward. My lord. We'll love these guys when I did that quick save. We move on with two more. You guys. I had to build that back up. My lord. I think we'll try and claim this next, maybe. Maybe Cropsford. I think we'll try and do that. Because then I can try and just build up Rehad. And then with those men, I can try and take Fort Roseguard. I still hate that you guys are able to take Cloud Rest. I hate that. Absolutely hate that. I still love that we've been able to at least get one s building set up in Corgard. I should check, I think it's what, um, one turn more, I think, until we can finally try and take Rihad and start building that up. I I'll have to make it my capital. Hopefully Corgard is fine. I think it will be. That's my hope, at least. I think Rihad will technically be my actual capital on the mainland, because it'll be the most central location for where we're trying to set things up. Otherwise, no, there's no other area that would be better for the areas we're trying to control before the invasion starts. Because we're just trying to take as much land around Hammerfell, basically, as possible. Because I, I'm not allowing myself to conquer cities over in Vardenfell with the uh, uh, Kytus. It'd be a little too broken if I could send those guys over as well, and it wouldn't make sense for us. There, you guys can start recruiting Mythic Dawn around here. Um, I might actually have you retrain your guys first. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, well, just retrain them. Retrain them for now so we can at least get those guys around here, and then we can start recruiting more guys. Uh, finally finish that in here. Yeah, I need you guys to get the Diplomat around here. Try and grab that so I can try and maybe get some map information around here. Population-wise, it's going to take a while until you guys are happy. Probably have to try and get... I just wonder if I should have it so I grab ballistas early on. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see, you guys... Uh, one more turn and you'll have your stuff. I did actually need to send at least the one other dude... Right here. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll send you both. Next turn, and before yes. the assault, they've rallied some more men, and I'll assault uh, with the eight units. That way we just have more ready to try and uh, take Fort Roseguard as well. So far, that is still Rebel. I can't tell over here still. I hate that. And then... You... God I thought there was a as you wish. dungeon around here. On my way. Reaching until morning, Maybe? my lord. I thought there was, like, over here. I'm going to go check, because if there is, I'm going to have to try and claim that next, too. Because we've gotten a small little force over here. And making a little bit more money now that we have those guys all under there. Because I think there's somebody around here that we can take. Or another dungeon we can take around there. I thought there was. At least just from my, what I remember in uh, Morrowind itself, actually, when I was playing it. So let's keep moving north. 
until morning. Seems like oh. you guys are still doing well for themselves. Who is doing the best in the top five? So the Empire is obviously the top dog right now, by far. Actually, no. Oh. That's technically the dungeon faction. Okay. Ignoring the dungeon faction, technically. Top five. Okay, I was wondering, like, who that is. Okay, no. Imperials are by far the strongest out of that. Um, after them is the undead, I believe. Yeah, I think it's undead. And I think I'm actually fourth overall. And then it is Hilaldu. Is that me? Yeah, that is actually me. Okay, so I'm actually fourth overall. Military ranking. Yeah, same thing. Cyrodiil, undead me. But then it actually is then Halfingar instead. Production, Empire's top, top. Territorial. I've just finally went up one settlement. The Empire has been pretty stagnant. The undead is growing rapidly. I find that interesting. Financial, everybody's like going up just straight up. Actually, that's because uh, this is this is me. I went down initially, and then I'm going back up again. Population. Yeah, the empire's doing well, very well. They're just going up linearly. Okay. You guys, keep doing that, and then let me check on my assassin again. Still having you go through here. Is there anybody in Rimen? On my way. Mm, just attack it, please. How you do, man? I don't know what you're destroying, but I'm gonna hope you succeed. I think you're successfully burning whatever you're trying to burn. Yes, you do on deed. What you burn, man? What you burn? That's all I need. He destroyed my a town watch. Not bad. Subtle. Oh man, this is actually a army of Nodachi and Imperials. Jesus, I would not want to fight that place. No way in hell would I want to try and fight there. I think it's about time to bring you guys over to Riyadh. So, Captain Malavus, I think it's time for you to join in on the talks. So far, Captain Valak has been unable to convince the inhabitants of Riyadh to join us in our cause. So it seems that we need to be a bit more forceful, I guess. Welcome to the party, good sir. Let's Whoa. see if uh, you are able to help persuade them to join our cause. Uh, and on Ruse, he's got himself and then just a couple spearmen. He has no skirmishers, but a bit of heavy infantry. Oh, it looks like you're going to die if you fail this mission. Alrighty, no pressure. No pressure at all. Well, hopefully we take this with minimal casualties, because I'm worried us trying to claim land around here is going to cause some tension with the Empire, and it's going to make them hate us sooner than I'd like, because we need to hold out as long as we can. I do have quite a few archers, I like that. So we're probably going to have it so that we'll split you guys in half. Um, I'll take two of you. We're going to go over here. And I'll take these two with me. So you guys go over there, and then you guys... And I'll keep you over here. I'll keep my main force over here for the most part. Uh, you need to move over just a little bit to here. Oh, I actually moved the wrong one. Eh, go back over there. This guy. This guy go right here. And then you just back up. And then these guys. Can stay over here, actually. Okay, let's start the battle. And if you can, try and open up on them. You guys kind of maybe like move up there. Start pushing forward to try and break down the gates. You guys as well. Actually, although for you, actually, try and break down this section right here. I don't see the reason for us to go towards the gates as there are more towers there. So I'll go elsewhere. You guys go over here. And maybe you'll get a good view on their Hammerfell Spearmen. Because their infantry is superior to mine, so I have to try and make the most out of my skirmishers. Elite dismounted Red Guard Warriors. That is not going to be fun. I'm honestly probably not going to push through the gate here. I'm probably going to try and break it down. 
and then break down another section because I don't want to... Their infantry is just better. My guys, 6 and 13 for melee attack and then defense. Defense skills, 6. Shield, zip. Armor, 17. Uh, yeah, their attack is a hell of a lot higher. Hell of a lot higher than mine. So in melee combat, I will get my ass kicked. The main thing that I've got over them is my archers. So like you guys try and run over here. And hopefully they won't turn these towers on. Um, and then I can hopefully just get some good shots into you guys here. I need to kill their general as soon as possible. I might actually move you guys right here. So that you can try and... Maybe focus their general down. Soon the enemy's defenses will fall. Because we're just going to break a bunch of holes in the walls. And Our then I'm men not have done well. The gates have fallen. Okay, don't drop that yet. No, just, just walk away. I'm not entering into the city yet. No, not yet. Not yet. I need to get as many casualties as I possibly can with my archers. Because otherwise you're going to kick my ass. Absolutely. Primarily... Oh, you can't hit the general? Okay, just shoot who you can. Because otherwise you guys will slaughter me. So I do what I can with just my archers first. Which I like that so far I've taken out fourth of their armor already. Okay. Let's break another section. Just keep breaking more holes in the walls. So if they try and advance out on me, then we just have a whole field to use to our advantage. Also makes it a little bit easier to shoot them inside. Half their army is already dead. That I like. That I like. Break the section open there, I guess. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their I've men. lost nobody yet, basically. I lost five guys. Oh, they are actually fighting me. Oh, that's that's a brave choice. The battle is very much in our favor. If we Do you want to shoot these steadfast, guys right here? Victory will be ours. Yeah, hit that unit right there. Uh, can you not hit the general's bodyguard there? Move up just a little bit. If you can hit the general's bodyguard. He's a good unit. Can't hit him that. Stand there still. Just stay there. I'm gonna try and move the scamps. We are through the enemy's walls. Time to slay our right godly foe. Here. Try and rush you in, and then if they move close enough that you guys can shoot them, then that's great. But I need to somehow kill the general, because most of their men are dead. They lost 70% of the forces already. You guys can just get, provide support right here and beat them back. I'm so glad these guys had no, absolutely no skirmishers around here. Uh, who's fighting you? You got your asses kicked for nothing. Okay, well, scamps are opening up on the general. Yeah! Keep firing. Don't stop firing. Kill this bastard. Yeah! Well, they have now lost 94% of their forces. Okay, uh, let's just advance on the city center. I think we've killed enough of them that we don't have to care. Like, how many guys are left over here? Uh, none. They are all dead. Okay, everybody towards the city center. Infantry group up. Just advance. You guys try and move this way. You guys try and move this way. Scamps, I don't know what you're doing. Just... Oh, you want to just capture the general? The is very much in our favor. If we remain Come on, capture him. He's right there. Fast, our men have captured yeah. the enemy general. Guard him well, so he can okay, see go to the, the enemy. enemy army. Runs. And we won. All nice. I barely lost anybody for that. Oh, that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. The wonders of them having really low walls and no uh, skirmishers and no cavalry. <laughs> That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Then we should have a pretty good garrison around here, so I shouldn't have to worry about the Empire. Now we just need to build it up. Hope it doesn't hate me. Because I think we'll at least sack the area. That does somewhat help reduce the unrest initially, but we will not exterminate. 
No, I, I will, we'll still occupy. I'll hope they'll be fine. We took a little damage, so maybe we will be able to. Also, we need to try and make sure we don't kill our main people. So we hod. Because we're really busy. But we're now the ones that control it. So I think we should be okay. So repair that. And then I'm going to try and set this to my capital and see if core guard's okay. You guys are at five. Okay, how's core guard doing? Core guard's fine. Okay, good. You guys are okay. You guys are doing really well now. Really well. Okay, so you guys I don't have to worry about anymore. I now just need to build this area up. I'll have you guys be my capital now, so you're a little bit happier. And now, uh, I'm going to keep you around here for a little bit. But I'm getting ready that I need to bring you back around here to check on Fort Roseguard. I'm worried about them taking that. Hopefully they won't. Sire. Okay, well, let's keep moving you over this way. Can't do it, Lord. Almost over here. Moving into position. Yes. And then my assassin. Who is my target? You walk through. How is Khajiit doing, anyways? Whose time is up? I just burn something. How you gonna do, man? What are you trying to burn today? I'm glad you're a great arson. What did you, what did you destroy? You were able to take out a core yes, exchange. Congratulations. Nothing standing. So that just decreased trade goods, I, I guess. I could also try target? and kill that guy before we leave. Maybe try and kill Medesi. Not an option, my Probably Lord. not, but we'll see. On um, I think, though, checking all of my lords and agents, I think we're good for now. I think we Sire, will be ending this video for now. God's we're going to gather a force for Cropsford. Next, we'll try and convince them of the fine teachings of the Daedra. And that will be our third base of operation that we have in Tamriel itself. So we're getting there. We're getting a pretty good force together. We now have some influence over in Somerset, in Hammerfell. Um, I'm hoping that down here, I'm going to put a lot of pressure here. So I can try and have it so that we'll take Fort Roseguard. And then from there, I think we need to try and go up here. Are these still rebel? This isn't. These are. Okay. They've been attacked at least once before. I need to get a force over there as quickly as possible. This I know is still... Actually, this is still fine. I think we'll leave this for now. If nobody's going to go over here for Cropsford, I need to focus all of my attention into Hammerfell, I think, for now. So I'll send more of my Mythic done over there. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also, check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.